From sunshine to winter, when snow and ice coats trees, it can be one of Mother Nature's most beautiful sights until the branches get weighed down and break, or worse, a tree falls. Our Derek James is with a busy arborist to learn what can be done to protect the trees in your yard. Some last minute pruning happening here in Roseville. We are no stranger to winter storms in Minnesota and western Wisconsin, and that can bring anything from blizzards and snow squalls to freezing rain, sleet, and major ice storms. And that's the biggest concern tonight. We caught up with this crew from Blue Ribbon Pruning, removing a dead ash tree ahead of the storm. And it got emerald ash borer, it looks like probably in the last year or two. And I mean, as you can tell, the bark's all peeling off. It's decayed. It's in rough shape. David Donnelly operates Tree Star Arborists. He shared some of the other signs to look for in a tree that could fail during winter storms. Cracks and fractures going up in the trunk or limbs. The bark too, if it's flaky. Like you can tell on this bark. See how like the white spots are on there and how flaky it looks. Little Emma watches on as this tree gets removed before it can do any property damage. But for others, it's too late. Donnelly's biggest concern for yard trees right now? Ice storms for sure. Or just heavy snow, you know, anything that's going to stick on the branches is going to cause a problem. Research from the University of Minnesota Extension finds trees that suffer the worst damage from snow and ice are trees with more than one main stem, upright evergreens, and trees with multiple stems like birch. Donnelly knows he'll be getting plenty of calls on Tuesday, but says right now, the only thing you can do is... Just pray for the best, I guess. And while it's probably too late to get anybody out to prune your trees now, this is a good time of year to have it done. And that way, you can beat the next storm. Guys? Thank you, Derek. Minnesota's winter storm a little over two weeks ago featured snow with a high water content and ice leading to tree damage all over the northern half of the state. The DNR says it will take months and years to understand the true toll of that storm on Minnesota's trees.